Hi guys, so we're gonna attempt today's code chef question. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it, but seal and receipt. And the reason I'm making this video is because I saw a lot of solutions for this question that were done in an iterative format, but I think this question is actually more of a bit manipulation type question and in an iterative uh, method will take linear time, but a bit manipulation method for this question will take constant time and constant space as well, so it's gonna be more efficient. And I think that's what, how this question was meant to be done um, based on the categorization on CodeChef and also just looking at a question. So let's let's talk about the question a bit. So Tomia likes, uh, has a positive integer P and she needs to get the receipt, which is basically the items on the menu that equals to exactly P, right? So these are the current prices. And basically that every map, uh, menu they call it a menu basically has this price of two to the power of i minus one so uh i here uh is one and then i minus one zero two to the power of zero is one two to the power of two minus one is two to the power of one which is two and so on and so forth uh so find the minimum number of menus which are basically the items here whose total price is exactly p no no not that if she orders the same menu twice then it is considered as two menus are ordered right so the first line contains uh, in t the number of test cases the test cases uh, follow each test case contains an integer p right so here for number of test cases 10 so 10 uh, minimum number is 2 plus 8 and then you can also have these other combinations but 2 plus 8 is the the, the shortest same with uh, 256 and uh, 255 and 4096 so the way to do this question i propose i'm going to use a uh, bit manipulation instead of uh, using the iterative solution, which is look through everything and then uh, deduct the, the largest value because it's just gonna be a bit more efficient. So uh, no, just as normally it's done, uh, we are gonna take in the code uh, for this. Um, I'm actually gonna move my face to, well, I'm just gonna keep it here actually. So, um, okay. So next thing we gotta do is we first, we have to check what the uh, value of P is so uh, let's take that input and um, yeah okay so uh, we, we now have the value of P now we need to uh, check what value we're gonna use bit manipulation and when it is not appropriate so first thing we should try to do is maybe I'll try to explain why uh, bit manipulation can work right so to con to get the bit manipulation for this, we just uh, use bin p, and let's just print that out so that we can uh, have a have a uh, rough understanding of um, what it's likely to look like. So, in the case of ten, the bit format is one zero one zero, and then you can just pad it with zeros in front. And for uh, two five six, it is one with a lot of zeros behind it. Um, for two five five, it's one 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 one. And then uh, for the last value, okay, I, I put in here 100,000, but if it was 4096, it would be different. So 100,000 is 111111, right? So um, you can see that for the first three values, uh, it is, you can sort of see that for 10, there are two ones. For 256, there's one one, and for 255, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ones. And then it's correlated with the values here. Now the thing about bit manipulation is that basically um, for the first, I believe it's for the first eight characters. Uh, so basically um, you can sort of tell how many, okay, let's, let's try with 2048 to illustrate what I mean. Um, okay, so for 2048, it's a one and then it's padded with a lot of zeros here. So what, what this tells me is that up to 2048, uh, which is for the binary value of, uh, which is uh, two to the power of, um, uh, let me check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, up to 12. It seems like you can just, um, Well, it's not actually because of that. Sorry, sorry. I forgot, I forgot. Uh, basically, 2048 is, there's only one, um, one value that is needed. Uh, and and be below 2048, you can sort of check 
how many ones there are in the binary value uh, of the binary version of that number, how many ones there are is a reflection of um, how many items need to be ordered. Um, but beyond 2048, because you'll need to have multiples of 2048, what you're going to need to do is divide the number by 2048, and then that's the quotient. So that's the number of ill of this 2048 priced menu that you're going to have to order. And then you take the remainder of it, which is going to be less than 2048, and then you run that same method, which is find the number of ones in the binary version of the remainder. And you add those two together, the quotient plus the, the number of ones in the binary version of the remainder, and then you'll get um, basically the, uh, the minimum number of menus. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because uh, in every in the binary version of any number that's two zero four eight or less, you can um, basically see the um, see from this the number of uh, binary uh, see from the number of ones the number of two to the power of some things that you're gonna need to order to get to the uh, price of p. Why is that? Because this represents 2 to the power of 0, this represents 2 to the power of 1, uh, this represents 2 to the power of 2, and so on and so forth. Um, let me try to see if I can find an explanation. I think here. Okay, so this is basically uh, the binary value of 79. And you can see, okay, it's 1 times 2 to the power of 6, which is uh, 64. 0 times 2 to the power of 5, 0 times 2 to the power of 4, plus 1 times 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, so it's 72 now. 1 times 2 to the power of 2, uh, 76. 1 times 2 to the power of 1, plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0, so 78, 79. That, that, that's why, if you understand this, uh, my so the what I'm saying just now should make a lot of sense. So this is the solution I made, and I explained it, so um, you can go take a look if you want. Uh, anyways... What, what I have to do, let's try typing it out. So now we have binary p, right? So, but first, actually, we shouldn't calculate the binary value of p. We should first check if p is lesser than or equal to 2048. And if it is, then we do this. And um, basically, uh, we can print bin underscore p dot count one. And let's try running that first. So this should give us three uh, print printouts. Okay, wait, there's a problem. Uh, P. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Typing too fast. Right. Uh, yeah, because the last value here we chose 2048, but we can just put back 4096 and maybe even 100,000. So, and then we can change this to 5 to test. Now, else. We need a quotient, so basically we take p divided by 2048 and then the remainder equals to p remainder of di dividing by 2048 and then now we need the binary version of r and now we print string uh, quotient plus binary r dot count 1 and let's see. That's great. So now let's submit it. <coughs> okay, great. So that's correct. I hope you understood the explanation. Any questions, leave in the comments below. Any comments for me, also leave in the comments below. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye, guys.